bringing toys to school sure sounds like a ton of fun. But if you make these epic toy school supplies, make sure to only use them during breaks. They will bring a lot of joy to you and your classmates for sure. First candy, then makeup, and now this? Both of you, to the principal, now! You as well! love squishies. I adore them. They're so satisfying. But you know what I love even more? Squishy pens. They're so easy to make and super affordable. Take an inexpensive pen of your choice. Any pen or pencil will work great. Open up your pen and take out the ink tube. Time to grab your favorite squishy. I love this cute ice cream one. It also has the perfect shape so let's transform it into a pen. All we have to do is push the ink tube inside the squishy. Don't push it in all the way though, we need to leave the tip outside. Here we go, the easiest and definitely the coolest DIY pen ever. It's so squishy, satisfying and works amazing. And on top of this, it looks like a kawaii ice cream. I mean, it really can get better than that. When we have high tide, the sea level goes up. When we have low tide, the sea level goes where? It goes down. Sara! Oh, this? This is a pen. See? This awesome slime pouch will keep your slime clean and protected. And since it looks like a pencil case, your teacher will have no idea what you're hiding in there. Take a ziplock bag. I'm gonna tape the bottom part up to give it more a pencil case shape. Next, grab some washi or duct tape. I'm using these washi tape sheets, but any kind will work great. Stick on as many pieces of washi or duct tape as needed to cover it completely. Then turn your masterpiece around and glue the washi tape or washi sheets on that side too. This looks like a usual pencil case, but we're gonna use it as a slime pouch. I have this beautiful rainbow slime that is so stretchy and satisfying, I love it. If you put your slime in the normal pencil pouch, the slime will get all dusty and dirty from the fabric. Our pouch, on the other hand, is airtight and has a plastic lining, which will keep our slime clean and fresh. Who would have thought that school could be so exciting? <laughs> When I'm bored, I like to grab an activity book. They're so therapeutic and fun. Also, sneaking them in class is a piece of cake. Come on, I'll show you. Take a notebook that is of similar size as your activity book and open it up in the middle. Stick a few pieces of double-sided tape on the right and on the left page. Grab the activity book of your choice. This one has so many fun things inside and I love how colorful it is. Stick it inside the notebook and we're all done. How flipping amazing is this notebook that has a built-in activity book? I love it! Say goodbye to the boring hours in school! Chemistry is the branch of science that studies the properties of matter and how matter interacts with energy. Chemistry is considered a physical science and is closely related to physics. Instead of activity book, you can sneak in a coloring book, a crosswords book, or even a favorite magazine. I love taking these things to the beach when I'm on vacation. So with this hack, you can bring some of that summer holiday feeling to school as well. Very sneaky and super entertaining. 
These little squishies are so adorable, I could play with them for hours. Yep, I think it is only fair that we sneak all of them to class. Grab your first mini squishy and a super glue. Apply a drop of glue on the bottom side of your little friend. Take a small magnet like this one and place it on top of that glue. Wait for a few moments for the glue to harden and pop the squishy on the tin pencil case. Do this with all the other members of this epic squad. The magnet stick firmly to the tin pencil case, so to your teacher and schoolmates this would look like a normal animal pencil case. But you can actually detach your squishies off the case and play with them separately if you want. Then you can place them back on and they will hold to the case firmly again. How smart! When you get a bit bored during classes, simply reach for your squishy friends and the time will fly. They're just the cutest little bunch ever. Tic-tac-toe has always been one of my favorite games to play with my classmates, but instead of playing it the usual way, I decided to upgrade and make the game a lot more convenient and sneaky. Take a plain solid colored notebook. From a piece of paper, cut out a big hashtag sign like this and stick it to the notebook. Below, stick any other word in smaller size, like love for example. Can you see the trick already? All we need are some paper clips in two different colors and we're ready to play the tic-tac-toe game an infinite amount of time without leaving any traces at all. Because to the teacher, this notebook notebook will look like the usual one with a hashtag love design which by the way I love so much. And paper clips are a normal school necessity so you can have them on your desk without being worried. I think this idea is so smart and will bring a ton of fun to you and your schoolmates while sitting in class. Are you a fan of Shopkins? I must admit, they're truly adorable. I decided to turn this Shopkins surprise jar into a pencil sharpener and smuggle those cute buddies to class. Take the Shopkins out of the jar. I got a broccoli, a toast and icing sugar. Take the paper wrapping off the jar and save that plus the lid for later. Now take a pencil sharpener and a pencil and let's produce some of that pretty sharpening residue. Use different colored pencils to make it even more interesting and fun. Take a picture of that residue and print it out. Roll it in a cylinder shape like this and place inside the Shopkins jar. Next, fill the jar with a bunch of your favorite Shopkins characters. I'm taking my entire squad with me to school, so in the jar they go. Lastly, glue a simple sharpener on the jar and we're all set. Ta-da! This appears like a normal pencil sharpener, full of coloring sharpening residue, but our Shopkins squad is hiding inside instead. And the best part is that your sharpener is still completely functional. If you love collecting and playing with these cuties, I'm sure they will bring you a ton of joy during classes. I don't care if fidget spinners aren't as trendy right now as they were last year because I still find them extremely entertaining. Check out this epic idea to sneak it in class. Grab any kind of notebook. Now print a picture of a windmill like this one and stick it to the notebook cover with a bit of double-sided tape. Right here where we have the spinning part, we're gonna stick our fidget spinner. So apply some hot glue to the center of your fidget spinner and glue it to the notebook. How clever, right? The fidget spinner somehow connects with the notebook background and together they look like a normal notebook, not at all like a toy so the teacher won't have anything against it for sure. Meanwhile, you can play with your spinner, which is also a perfect stress reliever if you're feeling a bit tense. What a cool DIY notebook idea!
I've always found soap bubbles so entertaining and fun. Something about them just makes me so happy and I could watch them float around in the air all day. There's definitely something magical about them. But did you know that you can make real and epic soap bubbles with a normal marker? <laughs> yes, and I'll show you how. Open up a marker and remove the tip. Now grab a knife and very carefully cut off that narrow plastic bit at the tip. Next, take a pair of tweezers and pull out the ink tube out of the marker housing. Leave this aside for now and get a piece of wire ready. Wrap the wire around any rounded object to get a loop. Twist the ends around each other and as you can see we got the same shape as with store-bought soap bubbles. A perfect bubble making machine. Take some super glue and apply it on the tip like this. Simply glue it to the inside of the marker lid and we're all set to make some bubbles. Well, almost. We still need to prepare the soap and water mixture. Open up a bottle of soap and squeeze some into the marker housing. That's enough, now all that's missing is a splash of water and we're ready to make loads of beautiful and magical bubbles. I think this idea is straight up epic. Making soap bubbles with a marker, I mean it doesn't get more insane than that. And the truth is, it works so well. Look how many bubbles it makes in one go. I almost can't believe my eyes. I think we all agree that this cool invention calls for a little prank on the wow. teacher. Lightning happens when ice and water particles bump into each other inside the thunder clouds. is a good old favorite board game for so many of us and sneak it in, in class is easier than you think. Grab a larger notebook and open up a front cover. Print a Ludo template from the internet and stick it to the notebook with some double-sided tape. Take 16 paper clips in 4 different colors. Lastly, we need a dice and I was lucky enough to find an eraser in form of a dice in a store. You can also DIY it yourself. All you need is a dice-shaped eraser and you can draw the dots yourself. Anyway, as I told you, sneaking a Ludo board game in class is literally a piece of cake. In a similar way, you can sneak many other board games to school as well. You and your desk neighbor will have so much fun. <laughs> Just be careful so the teacher doesn't see you. extra stressful sometimes, so having a stress ball on hand can be very useful. Take a plastic balloon holder like this one. Now grab a stress ball. Mine has this little handle, which is perfect to wrap around the balloon holder. Otherwise, you can just glue it on. Yes. Take a glue gun and apply some hot glue on the plastic end. Now choose any pencil you like and stick it to the stress ball. Voila, our stress ball pencil is all done. It looks phenomenal and feels very satisfying. I love this idea with the balloon holder because if you want, you can still take the stress ball off your pencil and it is completely intact. This little guy is so squishy and fun to play with. You will definitely take care of all the stressful or just a bit boring hours in school. Yes, I made another one because I'm that obsessed and I want to make even more because these DIY stress ball pencils are simply adorable. If you're a fan of plushy animals, this DIY hack is perfect for you. Take your favorite mini yeah. plush friend and attach it to the zipper of your pencil case or school bag. Now your beloved toy can go with you to school every day. And no one will ever think that this is weird, neither will teacher give you detention for this. You and your cute little friend are perfectly safe. Should we sneak more slime to class? 
I think we should, because there's no such thing as too much slime. These glitter glue bottles will work perfectly, but instead of glue, we'll carry glitter slime inside. Wash your glue bottle thoroughly. If you want, you can even remove the sticker as I did and set it aside. Grab some green slime and let's make it all glittery so it will look exactly as our glitter glue. Pour lots of that sparkly magic on the slime. How gorgeous is this? Remember how I used to be obsessed with glitter and mixed it in absolutely everything? <laughs> I miss those times. I tried mixing the glitter in the slime with a stick, but it wasn't that easy, so let's roll up the sleeves and get our hands in there. Play with it for a few moments and the glitter will incorporate all around the slime evenly. Alright, our glittery slime looks exactly like the glitter glue, so it's time to put it in the bottle. The easiest way is to go bit by bit and throw pieces of this sparkly slime inside the glue bottle. Screw the lid on and look at that! They look identical, so we are completely safe and can sneak our slime in class. Do you guys know that this is the first time me properly playing with slime? I know, where have I been? <laughs> This is so satisfying. You can make glitter slime in all the possible colors and they look so pretty. I wanna try mixing in a ton of colorful glitter one day. I bet it will look epic. What is Katie hiding inside her pencil sharpener? Whoa, what a cool slimy hand! Fun fact, there was a time in our primary school when these slimy hands were so extremely popular. We used to get them as a gift in a bag of chips and literally everyone in school had them. I'm not surprised, they're really fun to play with. And a pencil sharpener is a perfect tool to help us smuggle this awesome toy to school. These slimy hands are sticky and very stretchy. They will stick to any kind of surface like windows, tables and so on. You can kiss boring school hours goodbye because this these sticky toys will provide an infinite amount of fun during school classes for sure. <laughs> Just make sure they don't go out of your control. Yeah. Literature, most generically, is any kind of written works. Literature writing is considered. makeup, toys, what else could we sneak in class? Comment below. <laughs> no, seriously. School is very important, guys, so stay focused and listen to your teacher. I wish you all an amazing school year. Mwah. Love you. Bye. Literature writing is considered to be... <laughs> Often you do that. <laughs> is considered to be... <laughs> is considered to be... Oh!